Hello, welcome back to the AJJ Podcast Show with your host, Antonio Jackson. And if you are watching this, congratulations. You have made it to the second episode of this channel so far since it started. And, well, let's just get right into the video. First, as always, shoutouts. If you like a channel for gaming, I mean, not for gaming, for wrestling and all of that content, go to Mega Wrestling on YouTube. It'll be in the link. It'll be a link in the description below. And if you go to my channel description, it'll be there and all over my channel. You'll find it. But, um, also shout out to my brother, Marcus Brown. He wanted one, so here you go. And if you're listening, thanks for watching. Now, if you cannot donate money, which you probably won't or anything like that, but the best thing you can do to support my channel and me is watch my videos. Please also look in the link of the, the look in the descriptions of all of my videos. I have links and everything in them. So, and please share this video, like it, subscribe it, subscribe to the channel, and if you subscribe, please, 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 please click that notification bell, turn it right on like ding, and click it. And you get a free car. It's like, no, you won't. I, I, did you fall for that? Put that in the comments if you fell for that. Haha, ha, joke's on me. No, it's not. I don't know. Uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> so let's just get right into the video. And please share this with somebody, please. And I want, within a week of this video coming out, I want at least, hmm, three new subscribers. And I want this video to at least have 50 views. We can do this, and if if you have a friend who likes podcast or who is doing Uber or something like that, or is always just on a run in their car, just tell them to watch my podcast. It, it's they it, they don't have to look at it. It's a podcast they can listen to it on their way to work, anywhere like when they're driving, when they're just laying down about to go to sleep, anything like that. So. Yeah, th th this is a good channel for that, and please just tell them to look at my channel. Like, they don't, like, just look at it, you know? Just see if they will like it. So, let's just get into the video. So, the episode today is episode 2, and the series that we're supposed to be doing right now is History. So, we're going to start. So, the title of the video is, The Time White Supremacists Overthrew a Government in Wilmington, Carolina. Let's just get started with the video. So, Wilmington, North Carolina. It is, 18, it, was, it, is, it is in the 1800s. First, that town was very good for black people. There was a lot of black people, congressmen, all black from North, from Obama, Wilmington, all of that. So, basically, what happened? right now was um there was a, um how they became so powerful and was they created a fusion party so it's basically flipped so the blacks are on the republican side and the whites on the uh, democrat side so it's kind of flipped from today but um that's just how it is so they um so they they have some white people that like were angry farmers and fed up with all of the stuff that was going on and with all the laws and basically what they did was they joined the black people and the republicans to create a party called the fusion party so white supremacists and the democ the dem demo the demo the democratic party had a plan to lure the white fusion party people into their um, party, the Repub the Democrats. So, basically, what they did is they used their most popular source, which was the North Carolina's most famous newspaper, was for Democrats. It was uh, run by Democrats, so they already had that. So they had the media in their hands, and they made a bunch of art that wasn't very nice to black people, like saying that black people were bad and just showing a lot of images and a, a lot of people back in that day wasn't literate you know they couldn't read and it was in pictures you could like easily tell it was like 
uh, you see a black giant guy stomping on a white guy and it was all fake stuff and they were making fun of the black people it, it was it was me and they were trying to provoke the white people to join their party so and what they also did is they said that black men were bad for white women that white men needed to protect the white womanhood from blacks which was not very nice and of course this is a post um this is post civil war this is before all that and um i mean not before but like you know this is a time where the slavery and all of that and it's 1892 of course so so that's how they like kind of got some of the white men to join the party so or Giorgio Ryder said said that if it takes lynching a black man a day to protect white womanhood I say lynch and I say that's not true and by the way lynch lynching means uh, like mob take up like a mob killing somebody you know like a mob coming out like you know pitchforks and all that that's what that means so that's what uh, uh georgia writer said and so basically a black guy alexander manley own owner of a black run daily record newspaper said that some white women actually wanted to be with black men like it's not that black men were taking them or forcing them some white women actually like liked it them and wanted to be with them and fell in love and she and you're of course white people were trying to say it was that black people were taking them raping them and all of that and it, it, and they just were lying you know so democrats in the newspaper said it was a horrid slander what alex manley said he said it was a horrid slander every day they were making fun of him they were they were downsizing him and all of that and it, it wasn't very good so the voting also was not fair and the democrats had an army called the red shirts they blocked black voters they attacked black voters residents and all of that and just before the election a man named alfred moore walden said black governor black government rule will be put to an end forever even if we have to choke the currents of the Cape Fear River with carcasses. That was his own words. So the fusion, the fusion party was shamed, and the, and white people from the fusion party were pulled over to the Republican side, and they cheated. They they wouldn't let black people vote or nothing. And basically, sadly, but that's just how it is in America and in the world. The Democrats won the election. Every seat that they had was up for election, they won. And, but all the black politicians were not out of office though, you see. See, some of them, the term was not over. They, they still were in office. So, the, the, um, the, uh, so, yeah, they were not out of office and Democratic white supremacist goal was still out of reach to you know, self-explanatory to um, have all of the government be white and said that a white, this is a white man's country and that it needs to be run by white men. So, the Democrats made a white declaration of independence, which also said, which said a bunch of nasty things and said no African origin men will never rule and take black people's voting rights and all of that. They give white jobs from black people. They demand, and sadly for Alex Manley, they demanded that he leave the town forever within 24 hours. So, hundreds of in the morning, hundreds of white men marched to the office of Daily Records. Manley left for his life, and because you know they they were all, they were gun they had guns and all that, and. At the city hall, it was no better. The board of aldermen and the uh, city, the hall, the mayor, were forced out. Two hundred armed men at city hall, and Democrat was in, in a Democrat 
once once um they have res resigned, they put somebody in office, a guy, and he was democratic, so he was in office now, and to put a little extra spice and flame on that, they burned the daily office building. Yes, Alex Manley's post, his like basically a uh, putting putting place for um, his newspaper, which was. Basically, how black people, black community, the black community in uh, Wilmington connected through his newspaper. So, by the way, the guy that said we will, if we have, they will, he will uh, choke the currents of the Cape Fear River with caskets, was now mayor of Wilmington, North Carolina. Like what? So, there was violence in the street. Those the mob, the mob was now two thousand men. And there was violence spilled in the streets. So, black men were killed and dumped into the river Cape, Cape Fear, and some hid in city graveyards and swamps. The black people were the 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 black success and all of that in North Carolina, Wilmington was taken down by white supremacists, and they they were blamed for like so like there were pictures where black men shooting at white men with guns like like drawn pictures in the newspapers for democrats showing that oh this is all their fault and they were shooting and like no 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 it should have been like white men with machine guns that's what it should have been because they were the one causing all the trouble and being the mobs and stuff so it wasn't it wouldn't be until 90 years later until wilmington elected its first black congress member again in 1992 so this is 90 years this is like a lifetime and her name was Eva Eva Clayton and you might know her so well you might you have heard of her being office I haven't because I wasn't born there, so haha <laughs> but um so that was basically it um white supremacists they didn't win they won that at that time but like we just said 90 years later, there's still a black person in office, so they didn't win forever. They made it, they might have won for a little bit, but not forever. And it was just mean, like, they, so many people died, it was violence, and some, a lot of black people left the city and never came, and never came back. And this is all in books, and people, when they try to, today, when people try to ask for the books and stuff on, on all of this, they, the librarians denied them access or said it was under lock and key and they did it North Carolina uh, Wilmington did a great do great job of just covering up their past so this part of the past was not the best and so that, that is basically the end of this story and hope you learned a little history there so this is the end of the story and this is also the end of the video, and just hope you learned a little bit of history. Um, please comment down below if you're watching. Please just say hi or something. Please just comment down below if you're watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, because it turns out when I was looking at my YouTube stats and YouTube studios for my channel that actually there were a lot of things I wanted to talk to you guys about real quick. Like really quick, like not that, like I'm not gonna take up the whole time. But 66.8 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed, and 33.2 are. So I don't know what probably. I mean, like, please like subscribe. And I, I I've been get I we did reach over 100 views, so that's that's good. And I. I'm pretty sure we have some people that's not in the United States because it says top countries are 59.0% United States so we must have some people out of the United States so those are just some statistics for the channels for the channel and I will get a mic soon if um we hit when we hit uh, let's say 50 if we hit 50 let the hit let's say 100 no 500 watch hours and I, no in minutes for this channel for all my videos combined and at least on every video at least like 50 views 
we'll, we'll get that when we get that um i'll get a mic i'll get an actual mic another mic a better mic so i might sound better and i like, just upload it and if we hit let's say 20k subscribers and hmm, on an average 5k views per video which will probably be a while from now i will start uploading 4k yes you heard me right 4k 4k not 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 no 720p 4k video quality and i might soon have a face reveal sometime if we reach a certain goal i haven't thought of that yet but um so I don't want to prolong you too long. Please share, like, and subscribe, and comment, and turn that post notification bell on. That way you'll know when my videos come out. Because a lot of people I know are asking, did you watch my video? And they're like, no. And I'm like, what do you mean no? Oh, I have two videos. I mean, the one video ain't even that long. It's like eight minutes, and the other one is like some, some like three minutes or something like that. It's not even that long. It's not, it's not, like, not even like over ten minutes. And these are people I know, so... We have some collaborations, and please hit that notification bell. Why haven't you hit it yet? What are you waiting on? Please hit the please hit it. Did you hit? It? Okay, thank you. So, yeah, um, this is the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next episode. And this has been your host, Antonio Jackson, the host of the AJJ Podcast YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Now see you in the next video.